Alright, what is up? What is going on? As you can see right here, well, as you may be able to tell right here, this is Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Now, I'm not going to be doing anything uh, comparable to Dark Souls with this. I don't even think I'm going to record any more videos just of this game at all. But I just wanted to do this. I thought it would be a fly. I just thought of it on the fly. I didn't have uh, my microphone ready to hook up or anything. But I was just like, you know, let me just... Uh, let me just record this and see what I can do with it. And so, obviously, as you can tell from the title, this is me trying to do uh, two-handed... How do you... Cestus? Kystus? I am just going to overemphasize every single vowel and roll with it. I am two-handing the Kystus. And I'm going up against the Pursuer. For those of you who may not know much about this game or you may not have experienced this yourself... Uh, the basic, I guess, kind of the second boss in the game that you can run, that you generally run into if you're following, you know, like the set path, um, is the pursuer. However, if you come up to this spot right here where you see this ladder, there's a little platform, it kind of overlooks everything, you can fight the pursuer early. And, uh, so that was, I, I don't know exactly what level I am here, I know I haven't leveled up much at all at this point, like maybe five or six levels at most, um... Because I've spent most of my money trying to get the covetous silver serpent ring, which you have to spend 10,000 souls at one of the merchants to get. So obviously I've spent the majority of my souls trying to get that. And so uh, I thought, you know, like I, eh, this might be fun. So let me, let me just start this up now, finally. Let me actually... Hmm. And so unfortunately it was like halfway through this fight that I remembered, oh shit. This game has power stancing. I should have done that instead of this whole two-handed thing. But I, I, I had forgotten about it. I didn't have a second Kaistus uh, to equip. So I had to roll with this. As you can see, not exactly enviable damage that I got going on here. So this is going to be a battle of attrition if I manage to win this whole thing. Uh, because I, it just, this is kind of, I, I'll be perfectly honest. Power stance Kaistus? is basically the only reason I have stuck with this game. Like, I never even managed to get this far. I never even managed to get... No, actually, this is pre-Last Giant. But yeah, I never really... I guess I have gotten this far before. I kind of... I think the furthest I've gotten when I tried to, like, pick Dark Souls back up and do another run of it was the... Like, you go around here, and then, you know, like, that section, you gotta fight that first little turtle-looking motherfucker in the original Dark Souls. You face a couple of them before then. Uh, in this one now since the new enemy placements and shit but yeah so like I never really uh, just trying to do the traditional sword and shield spear and shield whatever it didn't hold my interest I didn't enjoy it I didn't like it and so like now doing you know dual wielding power stance Kaistus is basically making this game for me except I have just gotten <laughs> so I have both of, the, both of my Kaistuses are up to plus six at this point in time in the game. I'm like five hours in. I think I'm about, I don't know, 25, 30% of the way through. Like, I've gotten, I just beat the Ruin Sentinels. And uh, that is one of the bosses. And then I also kind of branched off a little bit. And I went into the, what is it, the Saint's Tomb, Saint's Grave, whatever the hell it's called. Where, you know, like the... You first meet the rats and all that shit. That boss as well. And then I got down to whatever that place is called. Where it's, you know, hella dark. And that leads down into Black Gulch. Is that what it's called? Uh, and I have not gone through either of those areas. But I was doing pretty... I was doing okay with them. Like, I blew up the last giant. I exposed that motherfucker. Destroyed him, and that was making me think, like, oh my god, this is totally viable. I can do this. This is gonna be fun. This is awesome. I can't wait to up my stats, up the, uh, improve the weapons, etc., etc., make this shit work. It's gonna be so fun. And, uh, like I said, then I got Old Dragon Slayer, was actually the first one that would maybe kind of be like, oh, maybe this is gonna work out after all. This isn't going too terribly well. Like, I did manage to beat him, but. You see how much damage I'm doing to this dude with this? Like, it's basically comparable. Like, I have to take tiny little pot shots. Shit right there. That is the worst part of them. Like, obviously, you're, you're just using your fist. You have almost no range. So, any move that has an opponent kind of, like, lean forward 
at all, it moves their hitbox along with it, or their hurtbox along with it, you cannot hit them. It's the most, uh, uh, the greatest offender of this whole thing is actually those, like, ogre sentry dudes that are in Las Bastille, and they have, like, you know, the giant polearm looking weapons. Almost every single one of their swings, they kind of lurch forward a little bit, and I cannot, I have to hit them from the side. I cannot hit them from behind. Like, literally, not like, oh, I'm really bad at this, I can't handle my spacing. If I walk up as close as I possibly can get to them and start throwing punches, they won't hit. It is infuriating. But, uh, yeah, it just, you know, and then, uh, basically, so what happened was, you know, now at this point in time, I've gotten my Kaistus to plus three and above, so now I'm not using the regular Titanite Shards, I'm using large Titanite Shards. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me spend my regular Titanite Shards on some other shit, let me see what happens. And so I improved, I can't remember what it's called. It's like, it's one of those swords that you get from the dude that's in like that harbor place. I think it starts with a V, like Valgrian sword or something like that. At plus three, at plus three, check, okay, now, well, wait, boom, bitch. And now watch me getting all cocky and trying to show off and shit and being a master and then that happens. Shout out to new enemy placements and all that shit. That's a huge nope. I'm gone. I ain't gonna fight them. I'm not gonna waste my life gems. I got no more Estus flasks. I can come back. <laughs> so that's what I do. I jet and I go straight to the bonfire and I rest at it. So that's that right there. And so, But that's I had fun with that, right? Like that was the first time in recent memory that I was able to really have fun with Dark Souls 2. And like I said, I'm having fun using the uh, power stance Kaistus. But I started using that, so I upgraded that sword to plus three just so I can get a weapon comparison. Because, like I said, once I hit that point, once I got past, because like the old Dragon Rider wasn't easy. Like, I didn't destroy him, like I destroyed the last giant, but I did pretty well against him. You know, it was kind of your average boss fight. I wasn't feeling weak, I wasn't really feeling particularly strong. It was just, you know, this is doable. And so I did it. And. The flexile sentry, I actually struggled with a bit. Because you have to be in so close to hit with the Kaistus. And then uh, I was that was the first point at which I was like, my damage output seems really low at this point in time. And But I just kept going, you know, suck that shit up, son, keep going. And then I got to the Ruin Sentinels. I could not do it. It was impossible to ma for me to manage to uh, out-damage the second one to any kind of a respectable degree before I got swarmed by the third one. And once you're getting hit by two of them at once, like, pot shots and running with the Kaistos is not gonna fucking cut it. Those weapons are not good enough. So I actually ended up having to uh, summon an NPC to help me win that fight. I could not do it on my own. It just, it was not something... Well, I mean, I don't want to say I could not do it, but I did not have the patience to go through what would probably be about like a 25, 30 minute boss fight if I basically waited until I was perfectly safe to be able to throw one fucking punch and then have to run away and book it to the other side of the room and then wait until there's another opening and just do that over and over again. And so then uh, after that, I was like, okay, I'm not going to go through Sinner's Rise. I'm not going to go fight the Lost Sinner. The, is it the Lost or the Last? I can never remember. This always tripped me up. Anyway, so at that point, I was like, okay, let me just go back to the uh, hub spot and go the other direction. So I went into the grave. I'm blowing shit up down there, walking through it, no problem. NPC invasion, bring it the fuck on. Knock that dude the hell out. Got to the rat boss. I got fucked up. That is, I mean, that's kind of, I hate boss fights that are designed like this. I mean, obviously, there's something to be said for diversity. You know, you want something of everything. But I despise boss fights that are not difficult in and of themselves. They're only difficult by virtue of just throwing people at you nonstop until you basically fold. And that's all that that rap boss does. There, are, you, you cannot clear out the rats that are in the room normally. I think there's usually probably around 10 or so that are wandering around by themselves. And if you kill one, another one pops in and takes its place. I don't know if it's a finite amount. I don't know if it's possible to actually clear them out and have the game be like, okay, this dude's killed about 5,000 of these guys so far. Maybe we should cut him some slack and not send any more in. Uh, but I've never hit the limit. 
and I just I could not out damage the actual boss dude. Plus, even then, I have to get so fucking close to hit him. The majority of the time, I'm getting counter hit. Like we're both hitting each other, and his damage output was a hell of a lot better than mine. And so I died to that fight twice using the power stance. And I was like, okay, let me just try this with the uh, sword and the shield. Cleared it. No pro. Didn't even have any issues. Didn't use a single Estus flask. Bodied that dude with no issues. Like it blows my mind that at plus three, that sword out DPS is power stanced. Dual Kaistus. It bugs me so much. So like I think I'm already kind of just like ah the fun's over and there's no more left. <laughs> but I mean we'll see you know I, can, I hope that uh, I end up you know maybe maybe something happens maybe I need to like infuse them with an elemental power to you know because maybe everything's just resisting too much of the damage I don't know exactly what it is I don't know what my options really are at this point because I haven't unlocked uh, any of the blacksmiths well I've unlocked the base oh no never mind I have unlocked the dude the lost Bastille but I only have given him the Dole Ember and I don't even know what the fuck the Dole Ember does I guess I could look that shit up but yeah so uh anyway I just wanted to show that I wanted to be a little bit cocky like look what I can do now you ever, th you ever think if you ever saw my Dark Souls 2 playthrough or my original Dark Souls playthrough that I would be capable of doing something like that hell no but I did it oh yeah so anyway, I just wanted to show that off just for kicks and giggles. It was something to record. I promise you, I have been looking out for opportunities to do fighting game stuff. I'm not trying to intentionally avoid them. It's just been hectic. Last week was finals week. This week was, uh, the, this last weekend was Memorial Day weekend, which is a very busy time for me at work. And so I haven't really, I've been spending a lot of my time doing other, like I haven't really been gaming a lot. I've been doing gaming related things, uh, like for instance the Nate talks finally putting together some actual you know like custom icons for my videos working on uh, learning my way around GIMP that is the program I use because it's perfectly free and I like free things can't complain about it so I've been learning my way around that trying to figure out how to do various things to optimize uh, my presentation you know what I'm saying so uh, anyway so like I said I've been there's been a few things that I have been meaning to do in regard like I've been guilty gear I've been trying to kind of you know like get myself pumped up and be like go learn sin motherfucker and play some damn guilty gears the only alive anime game in the states right now go figure that shit out but uh, I, I, I just I haven't had the time to sit down and learn it Mortal Kombat's Mortal Kombat it's not exactly the hypest online place you can be uh, I'm just making excuses at this point I promise I'm like I said I'm just not intentionally avoiding it and I will get to it a sap so thank you for watching appreciate it hope you were suitably impressed by my remarkable prowess in all things Dark Souls now and uh, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm sure people are probably sick of it by now so hey if I can find my way back to oh Oh, God, where is it? There it is.